All right. Long live baseball. Check us out on YouTube. Mike Jones right here. Seth Dewald. We're here at Wrigley. Right Inter there. Introducing the next episode of the Cubs Cardinal Series. With yeah. a big win for the Cubs to start things off. Yeah. Today. Today they got it done. All right. All right. What do you uh, what do you hope? And this might be, it's, I'm interested to see what you are gonna say here. It's like, what mm -hmm. do you what do you hope the Cubs do? What do you hope the Cubs look like post July 31st? Because it's coming up. Today's July 13th. We got like what two yeah. three weeks until the trade deadline, something like that. Yeah. What and do you when, hope and happens? When we, well, and when when do we get back to baseball after the All Star game? Uh, uh you know the next the next game is uh, i think the fifth is it the 15th gonna be the 16th okay. um oh, okay we well, play the, the diamondbacks which that could that could help us um yeah. but you Never. hate to say that too loudly Never. and then we're back we're in st louis you yeah. know shortly after that so um you know, I, I, I guess there could be some battle. And then apparently we play the Diamondbacks again right after that. So we've got six out of our next, uh, you know, nine or nine games after the All-Star break are with the Diamondbacks. And the Diamondbacks are not playing well. I don't know if you've noticed this or not, <laughs> um, but they are not yeah. playing well right now. Um, so it'll be interesting to see what happens there. And then, and then the Reds, who... I think have won uh, six out of their last 10 and Milwaukee's lost three in a row. Um, you know, they're only four games out of first place. So, uh, you know, there's a lot of things that could happen before July 31st. I think those phone calls are happening. I don't know how much that plays into, you know, is there going to be an early deal or is there not? So, you know, what, what do I hope the Cubs look like after the All-Star break? I hope they look like this, much the same team that we have now with another starting pitcher um, because we've got a guy like um, your guy, what is it, Adviedo, Adviedo? Oviedo, yeah. Oviedo, yeah, yeah. Uh, in yeah. Uh, Adbert Alzale, uh, who, you know, maybe could have used another year of, minor league ball, you know, I mean, he comes, he throws nasty stuff, gets a lot of strikeouts, but also gives up a lot of home runs and, you know, his record's not fabulous. Um, I'd really like the kid, don't get me wrong. Uh, but, um, so, you know, I, I hope that it looks a lot like it does now, but outside of that, I don't know what, what it might look like, you know, I this mean, is, yeah. there, there's, there's no way of knowing. I mean, yeah. it could it could look completely foreign. Yeah. To a Cubs fan. Yeah, and it's uh, you know that was the the thing Theo, you know, built it the right way. And then mm -hmm. the thing is though, when you built it, when you build it the right way, you get a lot of good players on your team. And that you know, if you get draft them all at around the same time. Oh, yeah. And their contracts are all up at the same time. And that's kind of what the Cubs are dealing with right now. Yeah. And I don't really know. I mean, I haven't looked into the Cubs financial situation. Like I've looked into the Cardinals financial situation. Um, but you would think, and we've talked, we could talk about this too. And we've mentioned it before on the show. You would right. think that if there's any team that could sustain, sign guys, uh, bring in guys and be a contender year in and year out, would be the Cubs. They got the second yeah. highest revenue in, in baseball, like you've said before, second only to the Dodgers. And it would appear as though the Dodgers, you know, they trade for Mookie Betts. They sign them to a big deal. They, they're, they're looking to compete every year. And yeah. Um, yeah. so, and, and it would appear as though they're the, probably the favorites to win the world series still, even though they're second yeah. in the division there. Um, yeah, they don't, they don't rebuild. They reload. I mean, yeah. the, the Dodgers are very clear about, you know, even the players are clear about that. Um, yeah. And so I don't know why that can't happen in Chicago. Yeah, I don't I don't understand it either. And to give the Cardinals some credit, 
the Cardinals never really play that game either. The Cardinals right. never really say, well, we, uh, we can't sign so-and-so because they're going to, you know, we're going to be trading them at the deadline. We're going to be trading Yachty at the deadline. We're going to be trade. And who knows, maybe this year might be different. I, I have absolutely no idea what is going right. to happen. I have an idea. I have a theory of what I think could happen, but it, it, this has been the most bizarre. I mean, it's a, starting with the Cubs, potentially trading off all their players. I mean, when 12 days before they were talking about buying players and the, the GM right. even admitted to that it's right. when it has been, it has been the, one of the most bizarre stretches. I mean, with the Cardinals going six and 22 in June and then the Cubs losing 11 games after a no hitter. And I mean, you talk about yeah. weird, but I, I just, the, the Cardinals and I, 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 somebody reminded me of this the other day. In 21 seasons, the Cardinals have had 20 winning seasons mm -hmm. with a record mm -hmm. of above 500. So, you, I mean, if you're a Cardinals fan, you should be thankful for that because year in and year out, say what you want to about Mosaic making some of these trades like I've talked about here. You know, Adolis Garcia is an all-star traded away from right. the Cardinals. Uh, Randall Grichik was on the all-star ballot tommy fam doing really well in san diego all were former cardinals and I, the list goes on and on and on randy rose arena jose martinez say what you want to but the cardinals have been a competing team for a long time right and they don't play the like they don't play the rebuilding game even, right. even though they're not the biggest market you know they're not the smallest but they're not the biggest either um right. So I, yeah, I, and that's not to say that, like, I'm not saying, oh, the Cardinals are so much better than the Cubs, because I don't think that as far as fan base goes, as far as brand tradition, ballpark, all of it, right. You would think the Cubs would be in that same. I'm just, what I'm trying to do is not say, oh, look at the Cardinals. Like some people do look at how great they are, but I'm thinking, right. why can't this be a thing for the Cubs too? Like, I don't, right. I don't right. understand. Um, right. And I've said that many times uh, well, on this show. And, and, yeah, so, well, go ahead. And, and, you know, here, here, here's the other thing. And this, you know, as far as, you know, while you're talking about selling off, um, if you, I don't know if you've ever seen the graphic. Uh, I don't know that I can share my screen with you, but, yeah. you know, there's a graphic that has the World Series team um, and uh it's got all their names and the w you know the 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 uh, cubby w mm -hmm. and if you look at that um w and you look at the names on there the cubs have been selling for quite some time yeah you um, should be able to share now if you want to yeah and you know just because it's an interesting thing to look at mm -hmm. um let's see if i there yeah you seeing that now? Uh, yes. Um, I can't. You know, so Lester, Edwards Jr., Lackey, Chapman, Wood, Soler, Madden, Schwarber, Montero. I mean, Grimm. Now, Arietta's back, but he was gone. Russell, yep. Coughlin, Fowler, Fowler Zobrist. Zobrist. Ross, Ross is managing, so you could argue him. Montgomery, Almora Jr., Rondone. And Strope. I mean, there there are very few of those guys, and 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 yet we come back and Chap Chapman too. Yeah, and yet we come back and and you know win win the division, um, you know pretty regularly over the course of those years. Now you know, are we going back and winning the World Series? No, um, but uh, uh, you know, the, so to me, the the um, you know, the sell-off, we're talking about a sell-off in July. The sell-off's been going on for quite some time. Yeah. I mean, and, and on the other hand, you know, I could argue for the from the GM standpoint, what do you mean we haven't tried to reload? We had you Darvish. We had Victor Carantini. We had uh, Nicholas Castellanos. We had, you know, 
we brought these guys in to try to let the core have another run at it. Yeah. Jose Quintana it, too. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know where he, is, is Quintana still with the team? I don't even know. No, I don't think so. I wonder where uh, he is now. I have no idea. I, I, I want to say he's in, I think he's in LA uh, in Anaheim. Oh, is he? I think okay. so. That would make sense. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, yeah it's with the angels. And, you know, to further that point, the Cardinals have been one of the most active teams as far as trading. You know, like the Cardinals have traded guys that were good ball players, you know, and I'm, some of them mm-hmm. I've already mentioned. And, you know, um, and, but the trades they've made too, I mean, they've made, I mean, on both ends of the, the spectrum, but, Most of the time, you know, they're trading for like Marcelo Zuna and they're trading for Goldschmidt and they're trading for Arenado. Mm -hmm. They sold, they sold Jose Martinez and Randy Rosarina and Adolis Garcia before Mm -hmm. they knew who those guys were. But, um, you know, for the most part, the, you know, the Cardinals, they do that. They, I mean, I don't know if they're selling guys, but it seems like they're, trading guys i guess they traded gritchick and piscotti and and uh that tommy fam too when they were starting you know starting players for the cardinals so it's a big part of that might just be the nature of baseball today you know yeah Uh, unfortunately you know you don't you don't get to keep guys like yadier molina around for 20 plus years yeah or Or wayne right yeah you do (laughs) you know yeah. Well, hey, man, before the season started, I wasn't so sure if mm-hmm. Yachty was coming back. Yeah. And uh, you want to talk about rumors that are out there. I mean, we've talked about it before. You know, Yachty mm-hmm. could be traded. I mean, I, like, and to talk about what I hope the Cardinals look like is I hope the Cardinals maybe add a pitcher. Um, they certainly could make a big move. I don't mm-hmm. think they're going to. I mean, that, I mean, uh, I mean, it's hard to know what, cause I, I think they could call up Colorado again. And I told you this at the ball game and they could offer Colorado Paul DeYoung plus a prospect or two and get Trevor story and make that happen mm-hmm. pretty easily. And just swap just, I mean, Paul DeYoung automatically becomes their starting shortstop. And, um, I mean, just off the top of my head without being too familiar with Colorado's roster and their prospects and stuff, but Paul DeYoung's contract is pretty cheap. I mean, I think he's on a six-year, $26 million deal with the Cardinals right now Mm -hmm. um, just because they avoided all that arbitration and service time and all that stuff. And Cardinals made a similar deal with Alan Craig back in the day before they traded him to the Red Sox. Mm -hmm. Um so the Cardinals have a history of doing that. And if, and the Cardinals also do have tons of salary space uh, next year. So they could, you know, if they wanted to get a jump on it and just say, we want to guarantee that we get this player, they definitely could. And they probably could do it on, you know, without giving up too much, you know, giving up Paul DeYoung would be a lot, I think, because he's been, a he's been a really good player. And I think, he's a perfect example of a player that's gotten better and better and better every year up and t- un- up until this year. It's like, he's right. like, you saw the steady growth and then all of a sudden it, he just tanked and I don't know what it, what it was or what happened. Um, it's hard to know, but I, and to, to speak to what the Cardinal, what I hope they look like is I hope Molina is on the team. I hope Wainwright's still on the team. And I hope that we get Flaherty back. And then if we add a pitcher and if, you know, maybe even we keep the lineup the same, Mm -hmm. just get healthy. Right. I think, I mean, a lot to speak to the schedule. I mean, the Cardinals play a lot of central division teams in the second half. That's a lot of our schedule is the Reds, the Brewers, the Mm -hmm. Cubs, you know, so. Right. Any, I mean, anything can happen. It's going to be interesting yeah. to see what they do because I literally have n- zero idea what their plans are. Because, I mean, yeah. I, it would I'd be equally surprised if they traded for Trevor Story. I, like that would be equally as shocking to me as if they traded Yadier Molina. You know, like right. I could see him right. do, or adding a pitcher, or 
whatever, it, it would be about the same amount of surprise to yeah. me. So yeah. anyway, here's hoping that our clubs look similar to what, what they look like now. I, def uh, I definitely want to see Wilson Contreras in a Cubs uniform uh, for many years to come. And then I'd like to see either one of those guys, one of the Brizzo's connection, uh, Bryant or Rizzo. I'd like to see one of them. And then yeah. Javier Baez, I think we're, we're going to, as much as it pains me to say it, I think we're going to be saying goodbye to Javier Baez. Yeah, um, I was I was talking to that fan behind us, and I said if I had to guess, uh, the top of the list as far as like if you're wanting to trade away guys, mm -hmm. I'd say Kimbrel is all but out the door. Um, yeah, and he could I, be going back to Boston, by the way. Yeah, he could be. Um, so he's all but out the door. I'd say that Baez is. I'd say he's pretty far up the list. And I'd also say Bryant, because I don't know if you remember this or not, but when Bryant oh, yeah. was going to come up, they pushed, and this was Theo's thing. So it wasn't, I don't think it was any regime right now that right. pushed him back and made it. So, I mean, it made it so he couldn't, you know, he had to serve an extra year, you know? Mm -hmm. So, and that's mm -hmm. something that the Cardinals did not do with Dylan Carlson. And that's not to mm -hmm. say that one was the right decision and one was the wrong decision. Because I remember last year when Carlson came up, I was like, holy cow, like they brought him up. You know, they're just going to start his clock right now. Okay. I did not see that coming because I thought right. they'd do the exact same thing the Cubs did. Right. Because that's the, honestly, that's the smart move on paper to keep that well, guy for an extra you, year. Especially when you win the World Series. Yeah. In, yeah. in that window. I mean, then, then you're a genius. If yep. they don't win the World Series and we let them go, then, you know, it's a whole yeah. different picture. Yeah. But there's a lot of people saying, and who knows if any of it's true or not, but that is a factor in him not wanting to be around. I don't know. Right. But right. so that's why you would say that those three guys are, I'd say, the most likely to be out. I think they do work something out with Rizzo, if mm -hmm. I had to guess. And I think they do work something out with Contreras. If not, I mean, it's it's super rare to find a catcher that good. So, yeah, yeah, I I think he's got to stay. If I'm the GM, if I'm going to spend money, it's going to be keeping him. And honestly, a shortstop's hard to find too. So uh, maybe maybe Baez over Bryant. I don't know, but yeah, and may, maybe the draft picture. You know, I don't know how much the draft picture lends itself to. Okay, any hints as to what might be happening? you know, over, over the next several days or whatever. Yeah. Um, but, uh, you know, the, the, uh, the Cubs are, you know, going, going for pitchers, um, left-handed pitchers in particular. Um, their first selection was Jordan Wicks, left-handed pitcher from K state, uh, who at that time, you know, in the draft was generally thought of as the possibly the best lefty left, you know, uh, in the draft. Um, and, uh, and then we also selected lefties in the third, sixth and ninth rounds as well. Mm -hmm. Um, so there's a lot of, you know, pitching that's being selected. Um, we took two infielders, both listed as shortstops. Um, so, you know, that does that tip the hand a little bit about where the organization's going? Should the draft take place after the trade deadline for that reason? Yeah. Um, you know, who knows? Uh, and then we had four outfielders um, uh, that, and, and a lot of those, a lot of the guys that we took, um, eight of the first 10 choices of the Cubs were college grads. Uh, and so that kind of gives you an idea that, you know, they're trying to get guys that are a little bit more ready, um, seasoned. Uh, so that they can build it back up more quickly. Yeah. No, the draft's always interesting. And uh, I, I told you, and I'm pretty sure this is true, that the there is no trading allowed in, in the draft, mm -hmm. in the MLB mm -hmm. draft, which I think is – I don't know exactly why that's the case, but I think that's nuts. Can mm -hmm. you – like, why not? For for Like, are you worried – that some teams just going to blow all their draft picks and go up and get like a 
player and then be done for, I mean, but who, who cares? Like that's their call. That's their, you know, like if they want to do that, then why, I don't know. Just why like, stop that from happening? Yeah. I yeah. Don't know. Yeah. I don't, I don't understand, but uh, the Cardinals drafted with their first uh, round pick, Michael McGreevy from US, UC Santa Barbara, right-handed pitcher. And I, it looks, I mean, he looks like, you know, I mean, who knows, but he looks pretty, right. like a pretty talented guy. And then they selected one, two, three, three outfielders, which I thought was interesting with their two, two of those outfielders coming in the second round. And Joshua Baez, um, who's a high schooler, and then Ryan Holgate, um, who's from the University of Arizona, mm-hmm. and then they went pitcher, 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 another outfielder, a pitcher, and then a third baseman. So it was like all pitchers and mm-hmm. outfielders, which I thought was really interesting, considering right. I, I if I had to guess, I mean, when the pitching staff is healthy. And when the outfielders are healthy, that's I would say your two two of your stronger points on your ball club, right? You know, but I mean, yeah. hey man, I if I like having a lot of pitchers, so I I don't hate it. I mean, I trust. I think uh, Mosellock's been a pretty good drafter overall. Um, the Cardinals have always been able to develop talent. So, hey man, I uh, I also I was listening to a guy talk about. And this is like a draft guy on YouTube was talking about how he loved the Michael McCreevy pick. So who knows, but it's, I, I think the MLB draft, I mean, definitely you should try to find a way to promote it, which I think they're trying to do by putting mm-hmm. it with the all-star game, which I think that's a good idea, but right. I don't understand why they're not allowed to trade draft picks. Cause can you imagine like, if there's like a bona fide like stud that everybody thinks like picture a Bryce Harper or Steven Strasburg or somebody like that. And the excitement, like, Oh my gosh, the Cubs just gave up their first this year, their first next year and two second round picks to trade up and get Steven Strasburg, you know, right, like, right. Right. I mean, that would be cool. Right. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I, I think it'd be good. I, and maybe over the long haul, Maybe it's not so good for baseball, you know, um, and maybe that's why they do it. Uh, because while you can get that one player, all those positions, there's a lot of positions to fill on a, on a, on a baseball team. And uh, so, you know, you, if you have somebody who decides to just sell the farm for one guy uh, and then that guy doesn't pan out or he gets injured, you could be looking at a long time. <laughs> yeah before you're before you're having any fun again you know sure sure but it, i mean it doesn't stop the nfl teams from doing it no true true <laughs> like, like the bears trading up to get uh justin fields i mean that was one of the most exciting moments of my bears true. fan life you know yeah yeah true so, anyway i hear you uh, there. but uh any, any, anything else you want to say about the draft or the Cubs before? Well, you know, just, uh, you know, other guys that maybe I didn't mention um, in regards to, uh, you know, trading. Obviously, I think Kimbrell's at the top of that list. Um, Ryan Tapera, uh, you know, we didn't really talk about him. Um, he's a possibility uh, as well. Um, trying Jock Peterson, I mean, you know, kind of weird to think of him just kind of coming and going, but you know, he's not having a terrible uh, year this year. I, you know, we talked about Chafin. Uh, and then of course you got uh, uh, the guy that we got from the Padres, Zach Davies, who's kind of just, you know, I mean, he's consistent, uh, you know, not, not a huge standout, but he can come out and eat innings, uh, you know, on that off yeah. start, um, you know, so he might be another guy because, uh, you know, you can never have too much starting pitching. Yeah. I mean, I, Cardinals yeah. have done that for sure. But And I, you sure. say Zach Davies, and that's like if the Cardinals are going to trade for somebody, I would almost bet you that it's somebody like a Zach Davies. Right, right. Like, and I mean, and not to say that – 
no. Would deal like that? No. 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 No yeah. chance. Yeah. 0.0% chance. Like, really, the Cubs are going to help the Cardinals out? Like, yeah. <laughs> especially when they have the same record, Mike. Especially right. when they have the right. same record and the Cardinals right. are buyers and the Cubs are sellers. Optically, that right. looks horrible. Right. Right. Because right. you're Absolutely. not only are you selling guys, but you're selling them to your division yeah. rival well, who has then, the exact same record. Yeah. And, and another guy, you know, Kyle Hendricks. Kyle yeah. Hendricks, uh, you know, I mean, he's good trade material. Mm-hmm. You know, I don't, I'm not sure about the contracts of some of these guys, but, you know, the Cubs do have a lot of. And so hopefully we won't get rid of all of those guys, all those names. Yeah. Um, but but there will be a there will be a trade in there somewhere, you know, obviously. Yeah. Um, the way that the talk is anyway. Well, yeah. and if the Cardinals are going to, the Cardinals, they don't have like the A blockbuster guys to trade, but they, I mean, if Andrew Miller puts together a good couple weeks or if, I mean, Kim's throwing the ball well, he's due to be a free agent. You obviously got Yadier Molina's on a one year deal, and so is Adam Wainwright, who are both playing good baseball. I mean, yep. that, you talk about guys that could, if the Cardinals choose to be sellers, those are just a few names to list off. And I think Harrison Bader, I don't think he's on a very long deal. He's very cheap to get. Um, I don't know, man. I don't know. Um, we'll, we'll just, we'll just hold our collective breath and see what happens. Yeah. But for whatever reason, whatever reason, the Cardinals are buyers right now with an identical record as the Cubs who are sellers. Does that make absolutely zero sense to you? Ultimately, it comes down to contracts. Yeah. Right. I mean, the Cardinals. That's what it comes down to. Yeah. Look, uh, I could list you Andrew Miller, Fowler, um, Yachty, Wainwright, I think Harrison Bader, Kim, um, Matt Carpenter. Uh, I could, there's probably a few that I'm missing. All, mm-hmm. I think their contracts are up or close to being up. So right. all that money and, you know, Fowler making 18 million, 20 million dollars. Uh, Yachty, I think, is making eight this year. Wainwright's like five or six. Carlos Martinez making 18 million. Matt Carpenter making 18 million. Andrew Miller making 12. All coming off the books, baby. <laughs> All right. coming yeah. off the books. So yeah. either you, you can go one of two ways with that, though. You can say, no, we're just going to save money and, you know, hope to develop our players that we have in the minor leagues. Or you can say, no, we, and this is, what makes sense to me you trade you just traded for nolan arenado and not too long before that you traded for paul goldschmidt stars in their 30s um i'm Mm -hmm. i'm thinking that next year they're they bring back yachty on a cheap deal and they bring back wainwright they get a few pitchers and maybe make some more trades maybe get another star and then they're like here we are. We're going to, we're going to try to send these guys out with a world series, but that's maybe my pipe dream. That might right. be just my pipe dream. And maybe, you know, who knows what's going to happen. Yeah. But. yeah. Well, you know, one, one thing's for certain, this trade deadline is going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting. It will be. And yeah. um, quietly though, before the trade deadline even happened, you know, the, what do the brewers do? They trade for a shortstop. They get a shortstop. Right. Yeah. They admit that Orlando Arcia wasn't good enough to be their everyday starting shortstop. Mm-hmm. So they got, I think, Willie Adamas from Tampa Bay. Mm-hmm. And uh, anyway, I just, I just think that's interesting that, you know, Milwaukee's making a move like that at a time right. really early in the season. I don't think they were in first place at the time. Nope. I just, I don't know. It's just interesting the different philosophies that some teams have versus other teams. And yeah. I, I, I don't know about you, but I, the moves that the Reds have made, the moves that the, that the Brewers have made over the last two, three years, I go, yep, that's a good move. I wish mm-hmm. the Cardinals would have made that move. Yep. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. That signing Castellanos. Wish we would have done yeah. that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> like yeah. Sonny Gray. Yep. Pretty good pitcher. Uh, mm-hmm. <laughs> like mm-hmm. Over and over trading for Christian Yelich. Yep. Turns out that was better than trying to get Stanton or Ozuna. Isn't that funny? Yeah. Like he, like Yelich was considered the third best outfielder out of all yeah. those guys. And yeah. now I think he's con- probably considered the best, even though he's not having a great year, but. Yeah. Did you, did you see, by the way, uh, 
did you see the uh, him getting tossed, Yelich, the other day? Yeah, because you, was, you what, showed me that. He went to – Did I send that? Yeah, it yeah. Was a, wasn't that a John Boy thing where he, he, he goes down the line, beats out the throw, or it's a wild throw, and then he, like, kind of – Mo fake, pretends to go to second or like moves he, his shoulders he like he, he turns he turns maybe maybe not i thought it was kind of a rough call but the mm -hmm. umpire called it they tag him and the umpire called him out and he kind of lost it for a minute mm -hmm. got thrown out of the ball a little game. bit, a little bit. Yeah.